Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing 2 phenyl indole from acetophenone and phenyl hydrazine using the Fischer indole reaction. For this synthesis you will need 6 grams of acetophenone, 5.4 grams of phenyl hydrazine, 7 grams of orthophosphoric acid and 13 grams of phosphorus pentoxide. Start by taking a 250 milliliter beaker with a stirring bar inside. Then add 6 grams of acetophenone to it. Next, 5.4 grams of phenyl hydrazine was added to the beaker. On top of that, 20 milliliters of 96% ethanol was added. 2 to 3 drops of glacial acetic acid is then added to the beaker. Beaker was then immersed in boiling water bath for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the beaker was taken out from the water bath and was allowed to cool down to room temperature. This will cause a solid to crystallize out and this is the crude acetophenone phenyl hydrazone. The solid was then filtered. Here I am using vacuum filtration with a glass Buchner funnel. The crude solid was then washed with around 10 ml of cold ethanol. After washing with ethanol we have a white solid. Vacuum was kept turned on for around 5 minutes to dry the product as much as possible. Once that is under vacuum, we will move with the preparation of the polyphosphoric acid. For that, 13 grams of phosphorus pentoxide was quickly transferred to a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask using a funnel. Then 7 grams of orthophosphoric acid is added to it. The phosphoric acid was added in a circular manner to wash down everything to the flask. The addition of phosphoric acid to phosphorus pentoxide is exothermic as phosphorus pentoxide absorbs water from the phosphoric acid. Now we will add the polyphosphoric acid to the beaker containing the solid acetophenone phenyl hydrazone. Now the beaker is again kept in boiling water bath for around 10 minutes. After 10 minutes the water bath was removed and the beaker was allowed to cool to somewhat room temperature. Now 50 ml of cold water is added and stirred well to ensure that the complete precipitation of the product has occurred. The product formed was then vacuum filtered using the Buchner funnel and the crude 2 phenyl indole was collected. The crude product was then recrystallized using 96% ethanol. Minimal amount of ethanol was taken and the crude product was dissolved in it by heating the solution. Some amount of activated charcoal was added to remove the colored impurities. Then the hot solution was filtered and the filtrate was allowed to cool to room temperature. After cooling it to room temperature, it was placed in a refrigerator overnight. The next day we got colorless plate shaped crystals and the final yield was 2.2 grams. So that's all in this video, hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal, the links for both of them are given in the description. Once again thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.